Hello everybody, this is Chucky from the Clicker Brothers. Today we're doing an unboxing and assembly video for a steel utility gorilla cart. The 800 pound model that's available at Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's and other sources. Amazon also. Amazon has free shipping, so my first tip is don't bother going to Home Depot, Walmart or Lowe's. Just have it sent in the mailbox. So it weighs a freaking ton. Now it might not seem clear what a Gorilla Steel utility cart has to do with Vintage Studio Music Restoration Channel slash release outlet for new creative music from the Clico Brothers. But I'm certain all will become clear eventually. So here it is. Let's open this up. There it is, a green steel gorilla cart in all its amazing glorious greenness. And it apparently it comes all packed flat and needs to be assembled. I'm certain it wasn't whole inside this box, but here we go. Inside itself feels pretty flimsy. Ah, there's another piece of cardboard there. Another piece. And Another piece, another piece. You know how when the shadows get long? It's still hot outside, but it's got a cool breeze in the air and you can feel the chill that isn't normal tropical air. That's what it's like today. Ultra long shadows in the neighborhood. Long shadows. So you got two pieces of it vibrates a little. It's got a little shake to it. Some Chinese sand coming out. Yes. Of course you know it was Hecho in China. Those cardboards are meant to protect it. There's the wheels. So it came with four wheels as pictured on the box. There's a manual of sorts. Describes how to put it together. In very poor IKEA format, looks like. The handle comes pre-assembled. That's kind of nice. Wrapped in plastic so it doesn't get scratched. That's interesting. That's not quite right there. See the plastic got so hot that it melted somewhere along the way. It's not grease. It is discolored from heat. They might have put it in the plastic hot right out of the powder coaters. There's another label in case you weren't sure from the 40 outside labels that it was a gorilla cart. And they have social media. If you're interested in information about Gorilla Carts, go to GorillaCarts.com. Join the Gorilla Cart community. Receive and share garden project tips. Receive product research opportunities. Possibly this is one great big Coleco Brothers product placement ad. And Gorilla Carts is going to um, sponsor our next tour across America and the world. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. There is no fate but what we make. And that includes everything in my life bringing me up to this moment right now where I am assembling a gorilla cart from Home Depot. Ooh. Got cute little handles. I don't know what to do now. Seems like this is the last bit of the frame. Ah, there we go. It's a cardboard puzzle. Cardboard is placing it in place. Let's do this. Now, 
apparently it was screwed down by hand through the hole. Yeah, look at that. To protect the threads and the little plasti wrapped hardware kit. Look at that. Very nice. It's your in China. Pieces like this one were tumble polished in a shot media before they were powder coated so the outside stays smooth and um, they didn't bother to clean the insides before they powder coated anything. Yeah, there's still a few little specks here and there under the powder coat. It's not too bad. There it is. Let's get to assembly. Assembly instructions. Instructions de assembly. Tools required. Herramentas necesarias. Is that how Chinese people translate Spanish? I've my name is Carlos, and I don't know what Herrajas mean. Herrajas. Instrucciones de assembly. Granted, I only had two years in high school. Tools would have been nice to talk about. I might have learned more. Back to our upside down videos. There's the hardware, there's tools, there's the instructions. Looks like step one is to use the nuts and washers to attach the axles, the fixed axle first and then the pivot axle second. So we shall do that. The axles are uh, have their threads protected with these little plastic gizmos. So those will go away. That one goes there. Here's the pivot axle. there. I just did more damage to those threads than they expected that thing to protect. That was not so bad. And there's a fixed axle. Why did that happen? Have you ever had that thing where your phone just stops recording because you hit the wrong of the 50 buttons? Bixby says, hell no, you can't record anymore. Anyway, there it is. It pivots. So the hardware is all laid out in the order of events. So you got number one, number two, number three, number four. Kind of like the instructions. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Or if you come in from this side, it's uno, dos, tres, catorce. Anyhow, it, they recommend that you have those little perforations on the back. And use your fingers to open these things. But I highly recommend the uh, box cutter. It's not on the list of necessity tools, but if you wanted to, you could put one right there. Take a picture of it and send it to China. Using a box cutter around the edges makes it so much easier to take nuts out. Alright, so there we are. And then these come out. And we will follow the instructions. Obviously, this is a pivot washer, and those are the hold down nuts and washers. Pretty easy stuff. Oh, I also got two sizes of crescent wrenches because I'm not certain um, what size that is because it doesn't say. I mean, it has two there, so I have two here. Now, one's a 10 and one is a 8. These don't say 10 and 8, but they probably could. Um, they are forged steel and they are also made in China. Sorry, they're only for English speaking people. And. Uh, Nut goes on like that, and then you tighten it with your wrench. Like I said, I'm not sure if I should use a small one or the big one. Um, so you'll have to experiment, I suppose. So here's the swivel axle, and here's the rigid axle, working perfectly. Installed in five minutes after we decided to abort the use of the Chinese crescent wrenches. And we proved another point. What takes 20 minutes in China takes two minutes in America. I highly suggest you add to the list of necessary tools a big ass ratchet and a socket that is 22 millimeters. And yes, it's made in Taiwan. Viente cinco.
para los comrados mexicanos. Te amo mucho. Okay, now we're moving on to step two. Step two clearly says we're going to use two screws, two bolts, and two washers to attach the pole handle to the steering axle. We're going to use the number two bolts, washers, and nuts to attach the pole handle to these holes here. So let's go to our box of parts and find a pole handle. And there it is, nicely wrapped in plastic, so it won't get broken. There we are. Those are the slots. Wow, they're slots. They're not even holes. That means it's going to line up and install very, very quickly. Thank you, China. All right, everybody. The pull handle is now attached to the swivel axle. <laughs> nice and rigid. It's very strong. We ended up using a, again, the ratchet along with a 17 millimeter socket for those screws there. It's time to move on to step three which is attach the wheels. So we've got four more bolts. I don't see four bolts, but there they are. No, wait, they're not bolts. Those are cotter pins, very poor drawing. That's what these are for step three. This clearly says step three right there. Clearly says step three. We're gonna use these washers and those cotter pins and this bolt in step three. So the four washers and the four cotter pins are in step three. That bolt, ah is mispackaged. It's overlapping the section three and section four. It really belongs entirely on the section four. So the man in China who assembled this packaging did a very poor job of putting this bolt in the right section. It should be down here somewhere. So please consider that when purchasing Gorilla Carts, that item number GOR801 was mispackaged. Okay, according to the instructions, the washer goes on first and then the cotter pin goes inside. Then you take the long bit of cotter pin and bend it up using the needle nose pliers. See how quick that was? That was literally real time, less than 10 seconds. All right, so there's all four wheels installed. Step number four seems to be complete. So now, excuse me, step number three seems to be complete. We'll move on to step number four. It says we have to flip the cart over. That's the cart, whole cart is going to go upside down, kind of like that. And then we're going to attach the pull handle using one bolt washer and nut to the front pivot arm here. All right, so I've successfully completed step A of part number four, which is to relocate the cart flipped over 180 degrees off its backside. Now I got to find nut, washer, and bolt, which are here. There it is all cut out. Ooh, this one's kind of stuck. It's because that guy didn't put it in the right spot. See, it's on the wrong line. There you are. Now, I'm going to take the nut off. There we are. They are separated, just like they are in the picture. There we are, nut, washer, bolt. Now let's find the pull handle. It's already assembled out of the inside of the uh, bag, wrapped in plastic for our protection. Ooh, it's got an extra brochure removable sides. So here is the tag handle, the handle tag. It's supposed to be attached with this tie wrap. They did a great job of putting it on the tie wrap, but it's so tight that it just ripped through the cardboard. Again, the packaging at Gorilla Carts China is not doing an excellent job like they should. But it is fully out of its plastic wrap. Now it's time to make the handle set. So I'm going to take out this pin and put it through that hole. This should be the same. Like that. Then I'm going to take the nut and bolt and put it through there and put it through those guys. I have two handles the tabs go into slots, it slides up. There it is. That worked pretty painless. All right, so we've got all the sides in. Here's a little helpful tip for you. You have to raise the 
handle all the way up like that, slide the side in place, and then lower it to lock it in place. And there it is. There's our cart. Our 800 pound green gorilla garden cart. Here we are pulling it. Go four wheeling over the cardboard. Try it around the grass. There it is. There's the handle swiveling and steering. Okay, just to let you know, I did make one mistake. Please note that this kink in the pull handle has to go down when you assemble it. I assembled it up. The instructions clearly say that that kink should go out. And they kind of focus on it a little bit, so it was my mistake. There's no fault in Gorilla Cards for that. So here we are. These are the tools I used. I used a half inch socket with a 22 millimeter socket and a 17 millimeter socket. 17 millimeter socket. I used a six inch socket extension. I used an eight inch crescent wrench, a typical box cutter, and needle nose vice grips, which worked excellent. The cart works great. This is all my test drive around the garden. There it is now. I have to cut that tie wrap off the end. And if you really like this video, you can go to Gorilla Carts, GorillaCarts.com, to receive and share garden project tips, receive product research opportunities, and you can focus them on social media. Because garden carts are the most appropriate use of vintage studio repair YouTube channel time. And really, it'll all make sense sometime in the future. I don't know how far in the future, my uncle always said, it will be in the near future. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. You won't be seeing much more garden cart opportunities in this channel, but you might see more of GorillaCarts.com. Proud sponsor of the Worldwide Clico Brothers Tour, starting 2020. And for everybody who cares about the green packaging opportunities of worldwide commerce, this is all the debris that's left over after the garden cart installation. You have some miscellaneous cardboard, which will be recycled. You have the cardboard boxes, which will be recycled. You have three black plastic thread protectors. You have three plastic bags, a plastic impregnated piece of cardboard for wrapping the hardware, a rubber band, a tie wrap, and two miscellaneous pieces of paper that are both plastic coated glossy so neither can be recycled. So here it is. If you have concerns about how green this packaging is, please take it directly to Gorilla Carts. How's my hauling?